the Carton Show. It happened last <laughs> night in the Garden. That is Tyrese Maxey hitting a four-point play. It's fine, though. No, They're still not. up two. Now they're up three because Hart missed a free throw, and then this happened from the logo. Just oh, didn't dagger. Hit the rim. That did not win the game. The game went into overtime where the Knicks started well, and then it all fell apart. Craig, lifelong Knicks fan, what is your first reaction after this, and how can you well, about the rest of this Look, it's, it's, as it's Sixer fans know after game two, it's a gut punch, right? And your heart feels broken, and you're angry. You want to yell to the moon, and there's nobody that answer your yells because you watched it happen. You know it happened, and you can't go back in time and change it. You can't teach Josh Hart how to not front rim a free throw <laughs> at the end of the game. And you remember that in Philly... He missed two free throws yeah. late in the fourth quarter, and Brunson had to save his ass by making two in a possession after that. Josh Hart's been great, and he's done yes. a lot of the intangibles, mm -hmm. but you know that's what he's going to be remembered for, not making a free throw in the fourth quarter, which would have given the Knicks a four-point lead. There's a very strange thing. Um, you, what's, what's the phrase you use when like you've been, you, you've been kidnapped and you start feeling for... Stockholm Syndrome. Yeah, the, right, that, whatever that is. Um, right. I have that. <laughs> Like, I'm in a very comfortable place. I've been here before. Yes. All right, 2013, the New York Knicks lost game five at home against the Boston Celtics, a game they were favored in, and it was the same stuff. Oh, no, the sky is falling. Went to Boston, boom, took care of business, got to the second round. Years before that, Indiana Pacers, not the Reggie Miller game, but the year before that, same exact thing, lost game five, went on the road, won game six and seven to win that series. So... From a fan base standpoint, acknowledging that right. nobody on the Knicks today was a part of those teams. Right. From a fan standpoint, I have been here before. I've been here, I've sucked it up, and I've come out the other side with a series win. Not guaranteeing that's going to happen, but I know what this feels like because I've felt it before. What's troubling about it is how it happened. And the things that you're alluding to right there, Josh Hart missing a free throw. But I want to back the clock up, Timmy. Yes. Because to me, the Sixers were done. They were dead with about five minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. The Knicks went on a run. They go up six, just under five minutes to go, and they get a turnover. All right? And this is the possession where they get the turnover, okay? Oh. Lucy goosey Knicks are going to break, oh. and Josh Hart overthrows Adenobi there on what might have been a breakout, right? Right. Up six, and at that point... I'm yelling at the TV, stop, just slow it, slow it down. No. We were up six. We got possession. Right. Let's get into our half-court set. Let's get a good shot. Let's go up eight or nine. And then you put your foot on the neck of the Sixers. It's a wrap. To me, that's where the downfall started when we got loosey-goosey with the basketball. At that particular point, Josh Hart, don't throw the ball to Ananobi. Dribble it up. Thank you. All the way up. Give McBride a rhythm three right there to okay. the right. So we're on the same page. But, but don't turn the ball over. If he would have brought the ball up right here. Right here, yep. Bring it up. And, and Brick, 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 McBride is right here to your right, and right here at the bottom of the screen, right here. Yep. If you would have just Great. brought it up and gave McBride a wide open three, I would have took that. Even if he missed it, I would have took that I'm because it was opportunity to go up now. And he would have had choices and, but, there, right, Tim, because right. you've got him beats back to you. Right. You could drive the lane yourself exactly. or you could drive and kick. Exactly. You do not want to turn the ball over. One right of the things uh, that I always say in these scenarios is let's pretend, so I want to say, Josh Hart, let's pretend your plan worked. Let's pretend that OB cat, I mean, not OG catches that ball. Right? Then you've got Embiid right there contesting you. So he's not even in a scoring position, even if his plan worked and he hadn't thrown behind him because Embiid was there. It's just a poor decision and poor execution. You know, you know if, and, and if Ananobi would have caught the ball, he would have saw Embiid. He would have threw it. No, no, he would have threw it to McBride in the corner. So either the other way, corn. you get a wide either, open. Either look way, you get yeah. a wide open. Jump All right, so shot. to me, that's where the downfall kind of started. Yes. Because we're getting a little loosey goosey with Correct. the basketball. And then, of course, look, we've seen it. We're going to see it a million times over. It's going to burn a hole in my brain and heart and eye sockets at some point watching this because it, we did this in game two. Like, this is how we won game two, right? Mm -hmm. The Sixers totally collapsed in the final 30 seconds, and we made the shot with DiVincenzo right. to win the game. So it's not like we haven't been in this exact spot, albeit on the other side. And this is where I got to put some of this on Tom Thibodeau. 
And I'm going to go now to the Josh Hart free throw, okay? Right. So, obviously, you get the great uh, uh, comeback. You know, now it's a game all of a sudden. Josh Hart goes to the line. If he makes both free throws, Knicks go up four. Doesn't matter what Maxie does right. there from the half matter. court. Right. Let him make the shot. We're up one and possession. And then they got a foul. We go back and forth Ugh. on free throws. When he misses that first free throw, stop it, please, for a second right there. Thanks, guys. This is where either your coach has to have a play that you always know this is what we do, or you got to tell Jalen Brunson to tell everybody on the court as the floor captain, this guys, guys, when he makes this free throw and we go up, we foul right away. I'll put him on the line all day. Up they don't three. foul. That's yeah. not what Thibodeau does. They so. don't. But I've, and this is a fundamental issue I've always had with him and a lot of coaches in the NBA. I'm not sure what Pat Riley felt about it or your or Don Nelson felt about it. But to me, this has always been basketball 101. If you're up three final seconds of a game, you cannot get hurt by committing the foul. No, you can't. Commit the foul because that's what you're afraid of. And I know there's a video, and you can see it there, of a Thibodeau in the background. It looks like, and there's apparently audio that I can't hear it, and we, we searched for it. It's hard to make it out, so I'm not going to play it for you. But there's Thibodeau, all right? And it looks like he's telling McBride to foul. Now, there's, again, debates on that because right, right. we know Thibodeau doesn't like to no, foul. Right. There's apparently audio where he's saying foul. I'll have to, I don't know the, the true answer on that yet. But here's what I do know. Deuce McBride doesn't foul, and the dude makes a 35-foot jumper. And what are you going to do about that? Right. So, in that instance, when you miss the first free throw, Tibbs should call Jalen Brunson and McBride over and say, look, if he makes this, we foul him. Yes. Uh, yes, if, if he makes this, we foul him. If he wants him if, to. Now, maybe he, he, he didn't want him to. to. If he wants him to. All right. And, or we're not going to foul. But you got you to coordinate and, and talk to your guys and tell them what you now, want. Now, let me ask you a question. Is that something you guys just know if we're in that position, this is everybody's role? Or oh, no, does you the talk coach, about it. He you has got, to you, tell you, you them. Got, you got to talk about okay. this. Th this. This doesn't happen in the game. This happened at shoot around. This happened in practices. This happened, uh, uh, you know, at timeouts. You you always you always talk to your team and say, anytime this happens, yep. look at me because I'm going to tell you to foul. Stan Van Gundy is a big time. He going to foul. Right. I know Don Nelson. He's going to foul. Pat Riley, we not fouling. We going to play. And that's just defense, his belief. And that's so just you know. His belief. Okay. And that's the way well, it look, is. Some coaches line, are like that. And bottom line is this: the dude made a thirty-five foot three. I mean, like that's why I tip Craig, the cap. Tip the cap. Yeah, you got to tip the cap. cap. You got to, I'm going to tell you this: you got to tip your cap to everybody on the Philadelphia 76ers. Well, I'm not going to. Yeah, that. I'm not going to. They, they all. That. No, that's no, no, not no, out. I don't know about that. That's too far, Max, Timmy. Let me let me tell you this: so you telling me Maxi scores forty points, that wins the game? That yes. one, that, no, no. Yes. 40 points. So one guy, if, if everybody don't score, everybody else on that team don't score, you, you Obviously, you no. Okay, then. But Max Tobias won them Harris the showed up. All right. Harris played well. Uh, all right. Uh, uh, Oubre play, played well. Eh. All right. Uh, uh, even though Embiid. He had a triple double. He had a triple double, almost had a quadruple double. Yeah, 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 yeah. One turnover away from a quadruple double. You know, so I mean, you know, they, they played. They played. Hey there. Thank you so much for watching the Carton Show. You can subscribe right here to get all the latest bits and segments from the show. And by the way, while you're at it, we have a lot of great shows on FS1, so check them out too.